Good morning on this Wednesday of Holy Week. We gather together in this spirit of prayer. And so we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Friends, gathered in the Lord's love and mercy, which we see so magnificently displayed in Jesus' passion, death, and resurrection that we prepare to celebrate with us. Let us pause for a moment as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, asking once more for those great gifts of the Lord's mercy, pardon, and peace. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy. Grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue, that I may know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning he opens my ear that I may hear. I have not rebelled, I have not turned back. I give my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who, who disputes my right, let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart. I am weak. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See you lowly ones and be glad. You who seek God, may, be, may our hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Lord, Lord in, in your, your great love, love answer, answer me. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our errors. Glory, Glory to you, you are Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. One of the twelve who was called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, 
My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What would you give to read somebody's mind? Sure, these are, this is a thought that we have oftentimes in our experiences with other people, with members of our family, with our spouses. We want to know what somebody is thinking. We wish we could read their minds so that we have a greater insight into what they're feeling and thinking and experiencing. And oftentimes, in, in other ways, we, we want to, to be able to peer into somebody's mind so that we can have a greater sense of empathy and sympathy with what they might be experiencing. Bring this up because I think the both readings today give us a glimpse at what Jesus is doing, his exterior actions, and the other reading gives us a glimpse into what it is that is going on perhaps within him, that is, that is motivating and moving and driving him. We see in the gospel today that we, Jesus is, is walking through towards his passion as he celebrates the Passover with his disciples, and as he confronts the reality that Judas is going to betray him. I want to ask, what, what, what is going on within Jesus? What is sustaining and driving him in the midst of these tragic events that are leading up to his death? And I think that we turn to this first reading, this prophecy from Isaiah that very much applies to Christ in this moment. As it tells us that the strength that Christ draws from is his ability to, to be open, to have heard the word of God, to have internalized it, and to say with Isaiah, with this prophet Isaiah, that the Lord is my help, and there's nothing else that I shall fear. Though Jesus walks through the, the, the gruesome and painful of events of his passion, he can say that in the depths of his heart, that the Lord is my help, and therefore I am not disgraced, I shall not be put to shame. For you and me, we are in all in continual need of the inner strength, especially in these times, to, to walk forward, to, to journey forward with Christ. Perhaps it's a reminder for us today, an encouragement for us today, that, that with Jesus we can say within our hearts and our minds that the Lord is my strength, that, and that with Him, as I walk with Him in His footsteps on this journey, this journey of Holy Week, that we will indeed find and know and live out that great inner strength, that gift of God in our lives. Bringing the thoughts and prayers of our minds and our hearts before the Lord this day, we now present to him our prayers and our petitions, all that we need. For Pope Francis, may God continue to fill his heart with love and his words with wisdom as he leads the church through challenging times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected leaders. May the passion of Christ inspire them in making good choices for those they serve. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, may we, with the help of God's grace, continue to grow in faith and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they rejoice in the salvation earned for us by the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Maria Andre Andrea Chavez Cespedes, for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all those on all of the front lines in the midst of this crisis who continue to, to perform and to do their duties with, with the greatest of selfless love and service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those prayers and petitions which we hold and now present before the Lord in the silence of our hearts this day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and merciful God, you know our thoughts, you know what lies within our hearts, and you know what it is that we need in these times. Fortify us and strengthen us with the grace of your courage and your love as we walk with your Son, our Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offering, receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here. And graciously grant that, celebrating your Son's passion in mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of thanksgiving, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Glorious Martyrs, with St. John the Evangelist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, the only one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. uniting prayer in this prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Endow us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured by of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, we go just a reminder that uh, tomorrow starts uh, Holy Thursday, the Sacred Trudum, and next time we come to you, we will be in St. John's Church uh, for live streaming of the... Uh, Holy Thursday evening mass at 7:30 p.m. Uh, you can find the uh, the link uh, to watch that broadcast uh, on either of the parish websites, either at St. Joseph's or St. John's. There'll be uh, links to take you to the YouTube page uh, to watch that liturgy, to participate in that liturgy uh, remotely, uh, starting tomorrow on uh, Holy Thursday at 7:30 p.m. And as Father Kevin also mentioned yesterday, we will uh, resume back up with a daily Mass here uh, in the chapel uh, on Easter Tuesday. The Tuesday following Easter, we'll, uh, we'll take a bye on Monday uh, and then resume back uh, up uh, on, um, on Tuesday. I believe that's April 14th. Look forward to uh, being with you all in this uh, different way, uh, yet nevertheless united as we uh, walk into these most holiest and these whole, into these holiest of days as parish communities. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. 
Thanks for joining today, everyone. Have a blessed and safe day.